Well, a powerful Democratic senator is accusing the Obama administration of violating the Constitution and undermining the separation of powers. Our next guest says this is part of a disturbing pattern described in a column that he wrote yesterday as follows, quote, they spied on you and lied about it. Now they may have spied on Congress, wittingly or not, for legitimate reasons or not, the actions of the intelligence community and the White House have compromised national security. Ron Fournier is the senior political columnist for the National Journal with me now. Ron, what exactly did the CIA do that Senator Dianne Feinstein, a Democrat, and you are so upset over? Well, it's two separate things. Let's do the senator first. What we have here is uh, the president of the United States in the middle of what's, what could be a full-blown constitutional crisis with the executive branch accused of intimidating and spying on Congress, and Congress accused of stealing documents from the CIA. And that's, that is not a pretty place for the president of the United States to be in, in the middle of that kind of catfight. It's getting ugly. Feinstein, Ms. Feinstein came out yesterday and said, uh, exactly as you suggest, that uh, this is a defining moment for Congress's role in overseeing the nation's intel agencies. She suggests the CIA secretly removed documents, searched computers uh, that were being used by the uh, Oversight Committee, attempted to intimidate congressional investigators, and on it goes. You say in your column what this comes down to is, we, the American people, were being lied to repeatedly by those right. who answer to us. Right. That's, that's a problem I have. Look, obviously, we have some severe uh, national security threats out there and some dangerous people who want to kill us. And we have to give our national security apparatus and our intelligence community the, 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 the leash they need to protect us. But we can only do that if we can trust them. And we can only trust them if they don't lie to us. And, you know, we, we had a very um, obvious um, example with, with uh, Clapper when he told the Senate that there had been no data mining done. And and, and there had been. Not wittingly, and you also have Not wittingly. That's what Not wittingly. Said. Well, yeah, you, you either lie or you don't. It was and a lie. You, I mean, it was a flat-out lie, and there's exactly. been no accountability for it. That's, that's why I don't buy the adjective. And now you have Brennan, the, the, the um, director of the CIA today, saying, well, what we're accused of doing, that's something we wouldn't do. Well, that, that, saying that something you wouldn't do isn't the same as saying you haven't done it. Spy and I hate to parse words like that. congressional right. documents and so on. Exactly. But, but, now, but, on know, the other people, hand, you have a... But, but the American people, a lot of them don't seem to care about this issue. It's like, look, the CIA's got to do what it's got to do to keep us safe. I know a lot of people do care, but a lot don't. And they seem to be ignoring this story, saying they got to do what they got to do. Haven't had any, you know, uh, significant attacks on the homeland since 9-11. And so, you know, if they're going to spy on me, if they're going to spy on Congress, so be it. You know, I, I can understand that, that view. I certainly want the CIA to do what it's got to do, and I really respect the men and women who, who work there. Uh, but we have to have a check and balance in this country because, you know, we can't have um, um, the, the, the balance between our civil liberties and our national security tipped off balance. And the, the real irony here is you have Dianne Feinstein, who I give her credit for standing up the other day. But, you know, what, what this in effect is, is the lapdog finally baring its teeth. Congress has not been a credible oversight of the CIA. Mm -hmm. And one reason is they've not been able to keep the CIA secrets that have to be kept secret, secret. They leak like a sieve. Mm -hmm. So the CIA doesn't trust them, and I can understand why. And the NSA doesn't trust Congress, and I can understand why. And, and also, Congress hasn't been very aggressive, including uh, Senator Feinstein, haven't been very aggressive in really putting some tough oversight over uh, the national security. Yeah. It's, it's too easy to say, do your job. I don't want to know what you're doing. Well, well somebody's got to be representing us, the people who can't know everything that's happening, right. and really make sure that, that uh, you know, our, our liberties aren't being abused more than they have to to keep us safe. Of course, the president promised he was going to you know, run a different type of administration than President Bush did in this regard. And there's been a lot of questions about that. I'd like to, I'd like to end this segment with a quote. Um, see, see if the viewers can tell me who this is. Everybody's dump, dump, dumping on everybody. I'll give you the first shot at it, Ron. Who said that? What, what movie character? Anybody? It sounds like Bugs Bunny, but I don't get it. Who is that? Nope. Okay, I'm going to put it out there on Twitter. <laughs> Let me know on Twitter or on our Facebook page. Everybody's dump, dump, dumping on everybody. Ron, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You got you stumped me. <laughs> it's a very famous movie and a very famous character. You're going to get it. Okay. Thanks.